Moses was an Egyptian. Sigmund Freud, Moses and Monotheism. Welcome back. We missed you. Finally, the cave of Montesinos. Chapter 22 relates Don Quixote's descent into the cave of Montesinos. This is a real cave located between Ciudad Real and Albacete. For a man supposedly headed east to Zaragoza, Don Quixote sure is spending a lot of time in the south of La Mancha, just as he did in part one. Before departing for the cave, Basilio and Quiteria make him their guest for three days. The narrator tells us they were impressed by his rare combination of valor and discretion. Considering him another Thid in arms and another Cicero in eloquence, Don Quixote voices his approval of Basilio's ingenuity, arguing that the ends of actions justify their means. Those which seek virtuous ends cannot and should not be called deceptions. But then he has words of advice for Basilio about the importance of acquiring wealth to keep his wife content. Lord Basilio should quit exercising his particular skills, for even though they were winning him fame, they won him no money, and he should attend to acquiring wealth by licit and industrious means. There is great irony in such advice coming from an Hidalgo who cannot manage his own estate. Don Quixote then gives wise, if paradoxical, advice about how to avoid jealousy. It was the opinion of a wise man, whose name I forget, that there was but a single chaste woman in all the world, and he advised that each man should think and believe that single chaste woman was his own. And in this way, he would live happily. He even says that to this end, a woman should keep her adulterous behavior private. Women's honors are damaged much more by public indiscretions and liberties than by secret transgressions. Did you know? The Renaissance period witnessed the birth of the modern debate over the equality of the sexes. Sancho then mutters to himself that his master is a know-it-all. What a devil of a knight errant you are, for you know something about everything. When Don Quixote asks what he just said, Sancho claims he was just talking about his wife. I was merely saying to myself that I wish I had heard what your grace has just said here before I got married. On the one hand, this is a modern and funny exchange in which Sancho avoids responsibility for his insult by vocalizing another line of inquiry that distracts Don Quixote. On the other hand, the insinuation is that Teresa has been unfaithful to Sancho. Don Quixote confirms this latter idea. Is your Teresa so bad? Sancho then confesses, she's not as good as I would like. Wow, are Sancho's children his own? Finally, Don Quixote asks the skilled licentiate from the fencing duel in chapter 19 for a guide to the cave of Montesinos. He provides Don Quixote with a cousin of his, a famous student who was quite fond of reading books of chivalry. This curious figure will remain unnamed. He knows all about books and printing, and he is adept at dedicating his texts to important people. The narrator has the cousin describe himself as a humanist dedicated to composing books for publication, all of great benefit and no less entertaining to the Republic. There are many theories regarding just who this figure is. On some level, however, he is a comedic parody of Cervantes himself. He composes seemingly useless and superfluous books. He is currently working on one called The Metamorphoses or The Spanish Ovid. This echoes Cervantes' description of himself in the fourth introductory sonnet of part one. What is the name of the literary project of the cousin who will be the guide for the adventure of the Cave of Montesinos? A, Italian Virgil, B, American Bible, C, Spanish Ovid. Correct answer, C, Spanish Ovid. Finally, Hinting at both Sancho's symbolic ass and Teresa's infidelity, the cousin rides a meaningful beast with a multicolored saddle cloth, a pregnant she-ass whose pack saddle covered a brightly colored mat 
or SAC. That's all for now. We hope you will tune in and watch our next video. If you liked this video and want to continue learning more about the knight errant Don Quixote de la Mancha, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Also, you can enroll in our free online course on Don Quixote by clicking here.